Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. You're welcome if you are new. My name is Leslie. Um, today's video is a IUI mic process. So I'm going to film every couple of days that I have an appointment or I find out new information all the way up until the day that we do our IUI. Um, and then in the next video, I will we'll find out whether or not we're pregnant. I don't obviously don't know that yet um, because today is cycle day three. If you missed the previous cycles, as well as the video that we unfortunately had a loss earlier this year, I will link those for you down in the description. So make sure to check those out as well if you're interested. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. Like we've got an appointment. I'm excited. Let's go. Hi, we are back for another cycle. Sorry, I just like walked really fast from the doctor's office to my car because it's like gross and rainy out and I don't, don't want to be outside because it's gross. It's like real nasty out. Obviously the first clip was me driving um, and it's just super foggy. You're not here for a weather update though. <laughs> so today is cycle day three. It is August 24th, the day that I am filming, filming, it, film, filming this. I'll get it right one day, guys. Uh, it is cycle day three. I just had like my baseline work done. So my blood work and my ultrasound, everything looks great in the ultrasound. She took a count. Um, we'll check what my blood work says. And then usually I would pick up my medication today. So like um, in the past, the past couple cycles, it's been my Ovidril and my Letrozole um, and my like luteal, 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 I can't even say it, phase medication, so like my progesterone. Um, I would usually pick that up at this appointment, but I'm having an appointment this afternoon with the doctor to be like, hey, what's going on? Because like it's not worked up until this point. We have one vial left. It is our last shot to have the same donor. Um, like, what can we do? Like, is there anything more that we can do? Because obviously I'm not responding to the previous, um, like, uh, what is it? Previous plan, I can't even think, sorry. Um, which was the Letrozole, two pills, once a day from day five to day 10. The last um, round we did, I did letrozole and I did the gonal F bump, like the boost shot at like day 10. And I did respond pretty well to that, um, but unfortunately not. It just, this last cycle wasn't it, sadly. Um, so I'm pretty sure what we're gonna do moving forward is do a gonal F cycle for the whole cycle. So I will know more, I'll know more about that this afternoon. But then I have to come all the way back to the clinic to pick up my meds if that's what the doctor decides to do because today is day three and typically you start your medications on day three of your cycle so today's a busy day for the clinic um and for this journey but to be honest i'm feeling really optimistic and positive about this cycle i'm just trying to do stay in a really good mind space headspace mind space i think it's really important too um because this process can be exhausting and it's long and you know we had a loss and that i think affected me way longer than i was like consciously aware it was so i'm just i feel really good today i have no sadness walking into the clinic today like i've had the last couple cycles um i feel good i'm excited i'm like this one's gonna be the one i think um, but yeah, I will check in with you guys after we have our doctor's appointment this afternoon and then we'll all know what's happening because I'm excited for this one to work. It's gonna work. I'm putting it out in the universe. Like, it is going to work. We are going to get our baby out of this cycle and I am very excited. I'm just, I'm really excited this time. So, that's what we're doing. Okay, so it is much later. My house is so freaking hot. 
Anyways, we had our doctor's appointment today um, and we did decide to go on the wait list for a funded IVF cycle. Um, the wait is like a year to a year and a half. Marf, stop please. Uh, so it's pretty long wait, uh, but just outright to afford IVF is extremely expensive and just not something that we're able to do. So we are going to move forward with one more um, medicated IUI cycle. It's our last vial. Um, and we did decide to go with the Gondol F shot. So this is it. It is like a preloaded pen that has like, it's a multi-dose cartridge. It's a pre-filled pen. So this I will start taking today and then I'll take it every single day until my trigger shot, which I also picked up today, which is this obviously. So we're using the Ovidrill. This is one that we've always been using. And then at the same time, I picked up my progesterone so there's that, but we're gonna start this tonight. I'm supposed to take it out of the fridge like a half an hour before I use it. Literally never opened it. So yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm really hopeful that this really does make the difference um, for this cycle and that this one's gonna work. So we start this tonight. Um, and if this time doesn't work, we're just, I'm not going there right now. I'm just gonna stay positive and stay, you know, on the bright side of thinking that this is gonna work. So today is cycle day three, but it's Gonal F day one. And then I go back on day nine for blood work and an ultrasound just to see how things are moving. So I'm gonna get Nicole to stab me because I don't do needles. They're not my friend, we're just not friends. So yeah, that's the update. Okay, so I want to give you guys an update because um, I just haven't done that. We are cycle day 10 today. Sorry, I'm just going to pick up my coffee because I need to go to work, but I need caffeine in my life desperately. So, one second. Hey. That woman definitely thought I was weird for filming. Anywho, um, hopefully this camera doesn't fall off the dashboard. Uh, so we are cycle day 10 today, um, and I'm still taking like my Gonal F shots. Sorry, I'm just fixing it, guys. Um, whatever, we'll just do this. I am still taking my Gonal F shots. Um, I had an appointment yesterday, which was uh, cycle day nine. So I had blood work and an ultrasound and I had two follicles yesterday. One was already measuring um, 
fertilizable at a 15 the other one was measuring at a 12 um and honestly i was like oh that seems like you know that doesn't doesn't seem like a lot like it seems pretty low like comparative to the last cycle where i had like five um and so i went in today and i asked them or i, I like made a comment and i was like oh yeah i was you know just like a little bit disappointed i thought there would be more and they were like well the gonal f isn't about the quantity of eggs but it's about the quality of the eggs and i was like oh okay um and she's like you're someone's being aggressive aka that driver she's like your estrogen level is also really good like it's pretty high already so like we're probably going to be triggering you in the next like few days um and i was like okay well i didn't really see like that i guess like in my mind i was like oh like it's, it's an injectable there's going to be more eggs which is going to increase my chance of it working instead of like i didn't realize it was more about the quality like this medication is for the quality of the eggs so there are going to be less which is fine um i just want it to work i just want it to work um but yeah that's the update we're still taking the gonal f shots i already said that oh i hate roundabouts but yeah so i will get my orders later this afternoon i knew that was gonna happen of course that happened anyways i'm gonna get my orders later this afternoon um and whether or not i'm gonna need a ultrasound tomorrow or tomorrow is also just gonna be blood work but i will keep you guys posted